And topping our news this morning was no ordinary start to the school day for parents, kids and teachers. Take a look. That'll wake you up. Hundreds of students from Amqui Elementary followed the footsteps of a marching band down the street, ditching carpool altogether. These were just a few of the 17,000 people citywide who laced up their sneakers for a walk to school day. The annual event promotes physical activity, and since police blocked off traffic, it gave the kids a safe way to explore their neighborhoods wheels free. The teachers really got into it, too. Most of the faculty is here. Uh, we did have to keep some back at, to hold down the fort. So most are here though. A record breaking 65 schools participated in this morning's walk to school day and so did Nashville's mayor and several Metro Council members. Well, Election Day is only three weeks away, but early voting in Tennessee is underway right now. The polls opened at 8 this morning and early voting continues until November 3rd. Officials are urging folks to cast their ballots ahead of time since they're expecting a high voter turnout this year. As you can see, a long line formed outside the Howard Office Building in downtown Nashville well before the doors were even open. It's very important to me that we vote in this election and I'm now if I can vote today that'll keep me from having to worry about that anymore. The reason I'm so gung-ho to vote this year is because of the Supreme Court. I mean we're looking at three maybe four maybe as many as five justices getting appointed this this term and the person that's going to be appointing those is critical. You can vote early at 12 locations across Davidson County and at other counties as well. Make sure, though, you have a valid photo ID. In the race for the White House, you can bet the gloves will be off for tonight's third and final presidential debate. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are making final preparations right now in Las Vegas. Focus is the word from Donald Trump's camp as he rehearses exposing his opponent's weakness. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton's team says she'll be ready for whatever scorched earth tactics are tossed out there. Fox News anchor Chris Wallace will be tonight's moderator at the University of Nevada. You can watch tonight's debate right here on News Channel 5 beginning at 8 p.m.